I understand the Canadian government created a youth council under the prime minister's office. Also, the Seoul Metropolitan Government also created a youth palace division in its innovation bureau under the mayor's office. So both examples show that government are recognizing the importance of the youth and concentrating efforts on designing policies for the future generations. That is because the youth are the ones that are the hardest hit by the global economic recessions. The youth are the ones that are the first to be pushed out of the competition paradigm when low growth you know, persists. And uh, in that sense, some say that the youth might be the first generations in history to be poorer than their parents. I think it's true in Korea. We cannot let this happen. Something must be done. So we need to open up a path for the youth and their dynamism and creative power to contribute to the growth and future of society and cities. So we need to make more investments in the youth and provide more opportunities for them. So now momentum for growth is not created overnight by a new technology. New momentum for growth begins by giving opportunities to those who have been disregarded or excluded by the competition paradigm so that they can realize their full potential. In turn, more jobs and new jobs will be created. So I believe that the youth can play a great integral role with their dynamism and creative power to promote social economy and to strive on the social economy. <laughs>